Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. It's summertime and the living is easy and I'm sporting some brand new flip-flops that I made using some dollar store flip-flops and really fun ribbon from our sponsor today, Paper Mart. You can check them out online at www.papermart.com. Please don't mind my chickens in the background if you can hear them squawking because I'm outside enjoying this beautiful weather. And uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make these really, really fun, fabulous flip-flops. Let's go down to the craft room and I'll show you how to make them. This is such a fun, easy project, and all you need is some dollar store flip-flops and some satin ribbon. And you can use any kind of ribbon, but I like satin because um, it's very soft and it's going to be very comfortable on these shoes. So um, the first thing you'll want to do um, when determining how much ribbon you need to cover the thong of this flip-flop is to go around and wrap one side. Once you get to the end, you're just going to... Um, once you get to the end, you're just going to kind of like hold it as you unravel it and measure it. And then that will tell you how long you need for your flip-flops. You take that measurement times two and add um, a couple inches just so you have room to play with. So I know that's going to take me 12 inches to cover that half because I already did one. So I'm going to need 24 inches plus about five inches for, um, for a little wiggle room. So I'm just going to give this a snip here and I know I'll have plenty of room. So then what I'm going to do now is just find the center point just by folding it in half and then I'm going to wrap it around the uh, middle of the thong. And then I can kind of crisscross it over itself. I just want to make sure that I cover the middle nice and tidy here like I did on that one. Now these uh, flip-flops can be found anywhere really. You can find them at the dollar store. You can find them at... Um, Old Navy, you can find them at the department store like Walmart or Kmart or you know any place like that and um, They're all pretty much the same and um, Especially if you're getting the inexpensive ones these Parts that go between your toes. They're going to be a little rough So you want to you want to cover those up. It's going to make them a little bit more expensive looking and um, You can also make them to match your personality and what have you. So once you get to the end here, I've just wrapped one side. I'm going to use a blunt object to push this down through the hole that has already been punched for the end of the uh, plastic to go through. So what I'm doing here is using, if I get a pair of tweezers, I'm using the end that's kind of um, just big and flat. And I'm just gonna punch that down through. And it's gonna come down through the bottom of my flip flop here. Just be easy, you don't want to really open the hole at all, you just kind of want to um, be able to get that through there. Alright, and then just leave that be for now because you're going to go and wrap the other side. Now when you're wrapping, just try your best to keep it as flat as you can. And if you find you've got some sloppy wrapping, you can undo it and do it again. So you, this doesn't take very long, so go ahead and undo it and redo it if you need to. This is a fun project you can do with your kids. Um, and if you change your mind or if these get kind of dirty or whatever halfway through the summer, you can always just cut the ribbon anywhere and pull it off and uh, rewrap it with another kind. So it really will, will make these last a lot longer too. And we're just going to push that through just like we did on the other one, just with the flat edge of this, these tweezers. You could use um, also like a flathead screwdriver probably too as long as it wasn't too sharp. Alright, so now we've got the two tails on the bottom of our flip flop and I'm just going to push these kind of like little plastic buttons that are on the bottom. I'm going to push those back so they're kind of trapping the um, ribbon ends and then I'm going to do a double knot here to tie them down. Just like so. And I'll flip this over so you can see the back side. Now I'm actually going to take a little um, super glue, and I prefer the uh, Gorilla Glue brand super glue, but you can use whatever you like. I'm going to trim this so I have about an inch tail. You could probably even go shorter than that, but I like to err on the side of caution because I don't want my uh, flip flops coming undone while I'm wearing them. So I've got my Gorilla Super Glue here or whatever glue you like that you know can do give you a really good bond and I'm gluing the knot pretty generously because I don't want that to come undone and I'm also gluing the edges of my ribbon so they don't fray and I'm also kind of putting some on the sole there so that I can kind of mash it down and get it to stick to the bottom of my shoe I don't want to have any weird lumps that are going to be uncomfortable to wear all right and that's all there is to it. Now, if you decide that you wanted to make it a little more fancy, 
you could use like these are just some like paper crafting brads these are some kind of like usa themed ones like i could poke that through the ribbon there and put that on the front of my flip-flop or i could glue a button or a rhinestone but i actually like these just kind of plain like this um these are appropriate for women men children um anyone really. So it's going to make your flip-flops a lot more comfortable and a lot more stylish. I want to thank today's sponsor. It's Paper Mart. They sponsored this video and you can check them out online at www.papermart.com. That's where I found this fabulous uh, camo satin ribbon. They have hundreds of different satin ribbons to choose from. So I'm sure you'll be able to find uh, one that you really, really like. And they're woven on the edges so they're not going to fray and ravel uh, while you wear your new project. Again, find them online at www www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.